Yeah, here you can see a support system for the uh, generator. Supporting the two ends. We'll also support the gear drive system. You now the drive is going to be directly off of the nut on the one end using this socket. It's right on there, but <clears throat> now the gear drive is actually not square. It's it's uh, actually elongate. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it there. But in order to make that fit, I've had to put an insert inside the end of this thing so that it in fact becomes um, three eighths by one half. It's not it's not three eighths square. It's not one half square, but it's three eighths by one half, and that will go on here. So like that. Okay, that's right in there. Okay. And then that goes on here. So you can see the gear drive system. This is a modified winch with a 4 to 1 gear ratio. Now, if I place a metal object on the middle of the generator. The magnets inside that are rotating grab it. And you can see the uh, 4 to 1 gear ratio by watching the thing turn. If I have it from the... Okay, let's bring it around to the top. Starting here at the top. Uh, and I'm cranking this. And you can see... Okay, from this position and cranking is going around coming up that's once going around again twice three times and just four times as I bring it back the winch back to the uh, upper position so one crank of the handle produces four turns of the of the rotor which isn't bad and you can see but you can get you can see that Keep the metal whipping around there, the magnets are very strong, they hold it, and it's uh, whipping around at a good speed. So, take that off of there. What's going to happen is this board will be set in the middle area here, near the back. This board will be used to uh, support the nine coils in a radial arrangement, which will have their cores aligned along here. <coughs> Coils, hopefully something like this one. Maybe a little narrower. These were the coils that I had on the large stator down here. Which was a uh, single phase thing. <coughs> and I want to make this three phase with nine of those. So I only have five at the moment, so I'll have to make some more. In the meantime, I can use this as a test bed system by connecting uh, individual coils along the side and uh, measuring the 
voltage and current output from individual coils while I crank the uh, the rotor with the gear generator with the gear with the gear system, and that way I can uh, test different coil parameters, uh, diameter, turns of wire, uh, hollow core versus uh, solid core. Solid core meaning packed with sections of uh, welding rod like this one is. Uh, to give it a solid uh, flux concentrating center but with but uh, reducing um, eddy currents at the same time um, and so on I want to get the proper the maximum output type of coil I will set up the, the nine of them and that is where we're